Good morning guys. I have this giant box right here from like a 65 inch TV. My dad actually brought it over so I would have something to pack some of this stuff in for eBay, some of these bigger things. But I am going to use it for something else. <laughs> I'm actually going to use it um, as a background to catch paint while I paint these couple of skateboard decks, put the base coat on them because um, I have to make a couple of custom decks for a guy. And this will be perfect instead of getting, you know, overspray on everything outside. Okay, yeah, that'll work perfect right there. Keep the paint from going anywhere else. And mind you, it does suck painting over my uh, <laughs> my own boards already. But what is these? Okay, so here's the black one. That one's... That one's got a good coat on it, so let's go head out and do the white one now. Okay, the first thing I need to do with this one, first I need to get down these steps without collapsing my leg again. I need to sand a little bit around the edges. This will be the last white one that I use to make a custom deck, only because it's the only one I have on hand. But there's the little, and I hate to paint over her. But, uh, but yeah, you see how the, the graphic kind of overlaps here. I need to uh, I need to sand that off a little bit. Okay, so the sanding is done. You can see the nice clean edges on there now. Boy, does it pain me to use this board, <laughs> but it is what it is. I got a whole stack of them upstairs. So, all right, I pulled all that stuff in the house there, and uh, we're gonna get ready to make this stuff. Ran out to Walmart, got my hamburger and a few other things that I needed, and uh, I went ahead and made the homemade. Uh, taco seasoning mix. This is a pretty big jar here. Apparently this is going to be about, what's it say here, six to nine servings if you use two to three tablespoons per recipe. The nutritional information is based on two tablespoons and that would give us three grams of carbs. That's not bad at all because in one little packet of seasoning um, that you get otherwise, there's like 24 grams in there. So this is a great idea. And uh, yeah, it made a whole bunch. So let's get out our recipe here for the low carb taco cups and get cooking because I am one hungry king of the world. Okay, so we're gonna be putting these in muffin pans. So I got two of the pans. Not sure if we're gonna need both of them or not. Well, I think I got everything ready. We got the recipe, the hamburger, eggs, cream cheese, butter, uh, this is all the dry ingredients mixed up, the coconut flour, the pink salt, and uh, some cheese there. And this also has some baking powder and garlic powder in it. And I'll tell you what, it smells like every bit of that. Okay, so I got my oven preheating to 400. I did a crude job of greasing my pan here. Now, let's see what we need. We need four and a half tablespoons of butter, melted and cooled, okay. There's that. Let's see, combine the melted butter with the eggs. So we got four eggs. Uh, let's see, salt and cream cheese. Okay, we already uh, mixed the salt with the other dry stuff there. You're supposed to leave your cream cheese out to soften, and this has been out for a while, but it's not that soft. Get it in there before I have a repeat of dropping it on the floor the other day. It says to whisk this, but I'm going to get it started with a fork. I probably could have also microwaved that little piece of uh, cream cheese just to get it a little bit softer because it's going to be a job getting that mixed up in there good. Yeah, not too bad. That worked pretty good. Okay, add coconut flour, baking powder, and spices to the mixture and stir until combined. Okay, I got all those mixed up in here. Yeah, that's starting to thicken up. <laughs> that smells pretty good. Okay, that's how thick it is right there. That's pretty decent. And then it says 
stir in cheeses. Now the only cheeses that it told me to use was the cream cheese which is already in there and this cheese which is going in there now I guess. That's definitely going to thicken up the mixture. Okay, there's that. Then it says, spoon into muffin pans, spray fingers with cooking spray, and pat the batter around the sides of the muffin tins to form a cup. I don't have any cooking spray, so let's give this a try. Let's test one of these here. Actually, I don't even have to use my fingers. Maybe I do. So that's how the first one looks. Let's just do that with all of them. I think it's going to be a combination of the spoon and my fingers. Because it almost takes the spoon to get it up on the sides there good. And then you can pat down the middle. Okay, they're coming along. Okay, so I finally got those done. Um, where was that one I just saw? It really was a mixture of using a spoon and your fingers to get it uh, all in there like this, kind of built up along the side. And there's cheese in there, so the cheese will melt and fill in any holes, but you still have to make sure that the mixture is still, you know, solid around there. So we gotta put this in for eight minutes. Where's my iPhone? Hey Siri. Siri! Okay, I found it. Hey Siri, set my alarm for seven minutes. Setting the alarm. The alarm is set for 6.19 p.m. Okay, 6.19 p.m. So, the next step says spoon taco meat into taco cups. It doesn't say anything about making the taco meat, so I'm going to assume it's very simple. And I'm going to use about half of this ground beef, which would be about a, a pound, maybe a little bit more. And two or three tablespoons of this stuff. Probably three. I like it a little spicy. Okay, while this is cooking... I am looking back over the taco seasoning recipe to see what it says about using it. And it does not say how much water to use, nor does this regular recipe here for the actual taco cups. So, I can't think of how much water you use when you use a packet of seasoning. I'm going to use probably about, probably a third of a cup, I guess, or half a cup. That looks about right. To three tablespoons. Yep, that looks and smells just like it does out of the packet. This is going to be good. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. I said if it puffs up like that, just take your spoon and pat it back down. Well, I did that. They are not done. I mean, they have... A little ways to go but we also stick them back in the oven once we uh, fill them with the filling so hopefully they will bake up I'll just leave them in for a couple minutes extra it says five minutes maybe five minutes will be right I don't know we'll see okay burger is drained Put our mix in I think that uh, that was about right. What did I say? A quarter cup of uh, water, and then three tablespoons. Put that down. Let that simmer for a minute. That'll cook off some of that juice. Meanwhile, we got some shredded lettuce, some sour cream, cheddar cheese, and a tomato. I usually would think twice about putting a tomato on there. But since we cut out so many carbs with the homemade uh, taco seasoning mix, I'm gonna go ahead and have the tomato. Okay, let's start spooning it into there.
Okay. A little bit of cheddar cheese on top. I'm afraid these are going to stick in the pan. <laughs> I should have got uh, little muffin papers. That's how they look, going back in the oven. Hey Siri, set my alarm for five minutes. Setting. Okay, I set an alarm for 6.35 p.m. Okay. Shut up. Moment of truth. Let's see how these turned out. All right, that's what they look like coming out. Okay, I have let those cool down for a minute, and uh, I'm going to see now if they're they're not sticking too bad. Be interesting to see if they cooked all the way through. I hope they did. Ooh, look at that! Holy crap! <laughs> all right, let's just get a couple more out of here. Yeah, those are coming out pretty good. Mm mm. Almost can't wait. Look at that. Oh, yum. I cannot wait. All right, I'm going to put some stuff on here, then we'll do a taste test. Okay, guys, so this is how I got them dressed up. I put some sour cream, some shredded lettuce, and some tomatoes on each. And you know what? I'm just going to pick it up and take a bite, so it's probably going to be pretty messy. I want to get a tomato and everything in there. Mm. That is unbelievable. That was so worth the time it took to put these together. Mm. I can't even believe how good that is. Get that tomato and lettuce in there. Mm -mm -mm. Slap your mama! That is so good. I don't know if I got stuff. Do I have stuff on my face? Not too bad. <laughs> I don't even have any napkins. Guys, that is so absolutely delicious. This is the kind of thing that makes a diet worth staying on. Granted, I could have ran through Taco Bell in five minutes flat and eaten two hours ago. But I can't do that right now. This is as close to Taco Bell as I'm going to get. In fact, I think I may even have some hot sauce packets in there that I can put on there. be absolutely delicious. But, oh my gosh, yeah, these are so, so good. And, I mean, the seasoning mix, I can't even tell that it's, you know, that it was just made at home. If anything, it tastes better. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go munch on these. I am so hungry, and they are so delicious. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm.